Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Listen, we're just doing a little daily fishing talk video and we're just telling stories, a little fishing story. Um, woke up this morning, man, it was ice everywhere. Started sliding down the driveway, trying to go up the road and it's just ice everywhere, cars in the ditch. Kind of like that song, Cotton in the Roadside, Cotton in the Ditch. It was cars in the roadside, cars in the ditch. And it reminded me of a really cool fishing story. It reminded me of a time back about 10 years ago or so not precise in the timing guys it could have been 15 years ago uh that my father and i took a trip to a little lake in, in uh, oklahoma a little it used to be a heated lake called conawa lake everybody in oklahoma kind of knows about it they used to have a cabin fever tournament down there and uh it was uh it was december ish time there was snow on the ground it was going to be like six inches which is quite a bit for oklahoma and lots of ice and we had the four-wheel drive truck and if you can get on that lake in nasty, nasty weather, when they were burning that coal through that power plant, that, that, that lake was heated up, and man, you could just catch them, catch them, catch them, catch them. It was an awesome experience. So we did just do that. We decided to plan. I called my dad, I'm like, hey man, the snow. He's like, I was thinking the same thing, let's go. So we're shut down from work, and we drive the two and a half hours or whatever it was for us to drive out there. And obviously it was an extended time because of the, the ice and snow, and when we got there, the whole time we're like, are we even, because it was nasty. I'm talking about below 30 degrees outside. Nasty, nasty weather. And we pull up to the to the ramp. And when we get to the ramp, there is nobody there. There's snow just all in the parking lot. This is like, it's usually got a lot of people there. Everybody in Oklahoma will know exactly what I'm talking about. There's usually a lot of people there. They know this is the place to be. And so we got it all to ourselves, and we're excited. And we roll up and we look at that steep ramp. Uh, and we're like, man, this does not look like a good idea for us to be able to be backing down this this boat down this ramp. Cause I mean, we're talking about at this point, it started to sleet like it does in Oklahoma and rain on top of that snow. And it was just iced over, iced over, iced over. Well, dad and I think, look at each other like, you know what? Let's go down to the hardware store and let's get, get some ice melt and let's see if we can do some ice melt. We're not gonna give up, man. We're gonna we're gonna put this thing together. I've got, to, I've got so many cold water stories. Now, I mean, as I'm telling this one, I'm sitting here thinking about another time that me and my buddies, it was so cold that the battery in the boat froze. <laughs> and did we go home? No, no, I, I gotta tell that story, the battery frozen story. I gotta tell that one next. You guys, I know you got, everybody's got a bunch of cold water stories and I love fishing in the, in the, in the winter time. So, you know, comment, let me know your cool cold water stories, but back to this one on Conowal. Uh, right when we're pulling out, two young kids pull in. And I say young kids, you know, if you happen to be the young kids that were there, let me know because you'll remember this story. <laughs> you got to tell on yourself if this was you. Uh, they pull in all excited too to go fishing. And we say, hey, uh, we're going to go down to the, the hardware store. We're going to pick up some ice, uh, ice melt. And they're like, oh, no, I think we can make it. We're like, man, this, this ramp here is too steep, but there's another one on the other side of the lake that we're gonna actually drive to. We're gonna go pick up some ice melt. We're gonna go to that ramp, we're gonna put in there. So we, we take the time, we go to the hardware store, get a bunch of ice melt. Uh, I forgot how many bags, we got quite a few bags. We load it up and we drive, rack around the lake. And at this point, we probably burnt, you know, 30, 45 minutes, maybe even close to an hour, who knows exactly. And when we pull up there, guess what? There's those two young kids that were gonna put in right when we put in, but they done put in and they were stuck. They were stuck on the ramp and the only way they're getting we got we pulled in and there's a tractor right there hooked up to their their truck and these guys would try to back out of the pull out of the lake and they couldn't they they get their back tire just like six inches out from the lake and man the truck would start sliding back in the water and luckily some old farmer was there and saw it he pulled in with a tractor and uh he hooked up to him chains and all and he pulled these guys uh, truck boat out with the with the tractor. I don't know how long they've been sitting there. I mean, like I said, young kids. If I had had my dad with me, I'd probably done the same thing. But uh, we wait. We told him, wait, 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 wait. So <laughs> instead of just going home and giving up, no, we're not going to give up. So what do we do? As soon as the tractor pulls out, man, we we pull our truck immediately, get right in those same lanes, the their tire lanes, and we start throwing the ice melt <laughs> right all through, all right in the uh, their their uh, their tire lanes, and then so we back up back down, let my boat off, my dad pulls out, and we pull out and park, and we end up having a heyday. The, only the two of us, us and that other boat on that water, no one else, everybody else chickened out, and they were probably smarter. Well, this is one of the situations, they're probably smarter, but if you guys have any stories like that, let me know, man. I just wanted to share that great wintertime fishing story with my past dad.